Alrighty, so the first upgrade for your prawn suit is going to be your prawn suit depth module. Now the prawn suit, unlike the other vehicles, it only has two different depth modules. It has the Mark 1 and the Mark 2. So the Mark 1 depth module increases it, the depth down to 1300 meters, and then the Mark 2 increases it down to 1700 meters. That is the exact same as the Cyclops depth, so that's kind of funny. But yeah, depth module is going to be your first upgrade. Now the next upgrade we got is going to be the prawn suit thermal reactor. Now it does essentially what you would think it would do. So basically whenever you take your prawn suit into the not into the but into like areas where the temperature is hot so let's say you go over maybe like a lava geyser or you go into like the inactive lava zone or active lava zone etc you go to those hot areas with your prawn suit it'll automatically uh recharge the battery in your prawn suit now, it doesn't it doesn't do it like rapidly but it does do it just slowly over time if you're not going to be going on those areas it's not all that useful it's a little more of a situational upgrade if you ask me but yeah let's go to the next upgrade all right so the next upgrade we got is the prawn suit jet jump upgrade now i'm going to compare show you the little comparison so this is how high the prawn suit can jump without the jet jump upgrade and then we put the jet jump upgrade on boom now we go up a lot higher. So the prawn suit jet jump upgrade it essentially just makes your prawn suit able to jump higher. And I don't I don't think it really does anything if you hold like this. Like if you're holding to float up. I'm not entirely sure if it does anything. I do know 100 percent though it increases like the, the thrust you get from jumping up. Great. If it is, y'all let me know in the in the uh, comments. Now the next upgrades we're gonna be looking at the arms. So for the first arm we're gonna be looking at is going to be the drill arm. Now this is extremely useful for gathering resource because there's large resource deposits around the map that can only be picked up using the prawn suit drill arm. And if you don't want to use the drill arm for that, you can also use it just to, you know, beat up creatures because it also does some pretty good damage. It's good for gathering resources and it also doubles as a weapon if you want it. Uh, yeah, let's go to the next arm. All right, the next arm we got on this list is going to be the propulsion cannon arm. So yeah, it turns this arm into an into a propulsion cannon basically you can be able to you'll be able to grab things shoot them away from you and if you have the if you don't have a arm like i do like on the right so there's just, just nothing so it's just the default claw arm you can also use it to pick stuff up that's small okay it's a little little bit a little bit a little bit janky so yeah you can also use this propulsion cannon to gather resources and whatnot you can also use it to grab smaller creatures shoot them around grab smaller objects shoot them around shoot them out the way etc but yeah propulsion cannon so let's go to the next upgrade all right the next upgrade is going to be my favorite one and it's going to be the prawn suit grappling arm now uh, the grappling arm is going to essentially turn you into subnautica spider-man because it's going to allow you to shoot a little grappling hook that'll zip you around the map it's also extremely good if you're going into like caves and stuff because the prawn suit can't exactly like float like the cyclops and the zemoth can so that's sort of what the grapple arm is for so it's sort of like compensate for that so you have better maneuverability you can grab lots of the walls to get out of caves and whatnot all that good stuff on to the last upgrade now the last upgrade is going to be the prawn suit torpedo arm our torpedoes are now loaded in the prawn suit torpedo arm and with the torpedo arm it'll just allow you to shoot torpedoes so that you can it's a little bit better than the sea because you can actually you can sort of like rapid fire because there's two little torpedo slots as you can see on the arm yeah there's two little torpedo slots right here oh it actually shows you that's kind of cool but yeah there's two little slots right here so it's going to allow you to sort of rapid fire when you compare that with the sea moth it's a little bit better because with the sea moth you can only shoot like one at a time because the sea moth only has one bay unless you add multiple the beetle arm is our last upgrade and it's my least favorite but you know you can find some fun in using it but it's not really i wouldn't say it's that practical now you're gonna notice that you're gonna have like an extra slot open right here because there's only like three prawn suit specific upgrades okay don't put a whole reinforcement in there because that's not going to do anything for your prawn suit that's tip number one so you can either put a storage module in there or a engine efficiency module in this last little slot but other than that this is going to be all the upgrades for your prawn suit and thank you all for watching i hope you all enjoyed and i will see you all in the next one Peace.